life. My flaws don't look so bad at all. What was I so afraid of? Hey everybody, it's Charmel. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're dyeing my locks red, so let's get right into it. So I'm going to be using this L'Oreal High Color in the color red. I'm also going to be using these two Adore rinses in the color Wild Cherry and Crimson. And I'm also going to be using some 40 Volume Developer. So Crimson and Red Cherry are very similar in colors. I think there's only like a one number difference. So I'm starting with the Crimson and I'm just pouring some of that into my mixing bowl. And I was having such a hard time deciding which one I wanted to use so I ended up adding a little bit of the wild cherry to the mix as well and then I'm going to go in with some of that 40 volume developer now my hair is pre lightened I did do a box dye on it a few months ago so as you guys can see my hair is already brown but I decided to mix in a little bit of that 40 volume developer just to help lift it a little bit to make sure that I get the best color payoff as possible and so now I'm just separating my hair into four sections and then I'm just gonna go in with some Vaseline to base my hairline um, and just to prevent any bleeding onto my skin now red is very messy so you want to make sure you do this good I did not coat my skin enough and you guys will see later in the video but do not skip this step um, if you don't want to deal with a bunch of red dye all over your skin and now I'm going to start applying that mixture onto my locks so I'm going to use my hand and I'm just going lock by lock and massaging and raking the color along my lock rubbing it in really good to make sure that all of the hair is coated properly and this process can be a little tedious but I honestly think this is the best way to do it to ensure that your color is going to be evenly distributed between all of your locks in the past when I like touched up my brown color on my locks I kind of just used like a brush and applied it um, throughout my head um, almost like if it was loose hair and as you guys can see, I like my brown color, but it is kind of patchy, like certain areas are lighter than the others. But going in lock by lock is going to, you know, make sure that the color is literally on every single lock. And right now I'm just mainly focusing on the lock itself. I'm not too concerned about my roots because as you guys can see, I have a lot of new growth and I wanted my roots to be red as well. So I'm gonna go in later with a different um, mixture for my roots. So for the first initial um, run through, I'm just going along the shaft of my locks.
And now that all of my locks are coated in that Adore color, I'm going into the L'Oreal High color and I mixed that with some 40 volume developer, basically followed the instructions on the box. And now I'm going to use this to apply to my roots. So the L'Oreal High color has more of a lightening agent in it and it's made specifically for dark hair without having to like bleach your hair first. So I wanted to use this one on my roots since my roots are completely virgin and they don't have any type of color on them at all. They haven't had any box dye, any bleach or anything. So I wanted to make sure that my roots um, got as red as possible because I wanted my whole head red. I didn't just want like my ends red. I wanted it red from root to tips. So yes, that's why I'm going in with the different product on my roots. And yeah, I'm starting with my hairline. Um, I typically like just like the front of my head to be brighter um, than the rest of my head. So you're usually supposed to start in the back first, but whenever um, I do colors, I do like to do the front of my head just because I like my front to be as bright as possible. So I'm going in with my hairline first and then I'm going to start sectioning it, I'm kind of going row by row to make sure that all of my roots are coated. Um, and I'm just using my hand again. This was just such a messy process and the applicator was getting on my nerves. I had dye everywhere. So I'm going back in with my hands and raking it through my hand. I mean, raking it through my hair with my fingers. Um, yes. And then after I apply all of it to my roots, I'm just gonna use whatever product I have left over and just run it through the rest of my hair just to make sure that everything is as coated as possible. So here is how it looks once all of it has been applied to my head and now I'm going to go in with two shower caps and I'm going to allow my hair to process. It took me about maybe 25 to 30 minutes to apply all the product on my hair and then I let it sit for an additional 30 minutes. So in total with applying and letting it process, um, it was all maybe about an hour or so. So after processing, I rinsed it with cold water, then I shampooed it, and then I deep conditioned with this um, conditioner. I let the conditioner sit on my hair for maybe 20 to 30 minutes, and then I rinsed it again. And you want to make sure you rinse it until the water runs clear, especially with locks. You don't want to leave any leftover product in your hair to cause any potential buildup. And so now for the big color reveal and voila so here is the color obviously the ends look more vibrant than the roots because my ends were already lightened um on camera my roots look pretty like black still but in real life they have more like of a deep red tone to them they're not they're like natural dark brown black color um i may go in again at some point with the l'oreal high color at my roots to kind of lift it a little more maybe the next time i decide to touch up my color but all in all i love this red i think it's going to be perfect for the springtime and for the summertime I I was ready for a change. I was really tired of that brown color. I had it since last summer and it just wasn't doing it for me anymore. So I'm happy with the decision to go red. I'm loving it so far. And this is me just analyzing my shrinkage. If you've seen my most recent lock update video, I was telling you guys about the shrinkage and this is what I mean. Like, huh, 
it's a process so definitely go check out that video um but here is how my hair looks after it's been retwisted again i'm loving it um i think once it's retwisted you can really tell the difference between like my roots and my ends but i think the color is still very beautiful um yes i'm here for it and you see all that dye i had on me y'all i had to take another shower because I just I just had dye everywhere so make sure you are careful when you're doing this I had two towels plus a cape and everything and y'all that color was just everywhere but thank you all for watching let me know down in the comment section what you think about this color and yeah don't forget to like comment share subscribe all of that good stuff follow me on Instagram snatched by Charmel and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!